SayItInACard.com is an online greeting card company that delivers right to your front door. Visit our website, www.SayItInACard.com. You can read the cards, order the cards, and we ship them directly to you. If you feel it, we say it in a card. We have breakup cards, troubled relationship cards, troubled friendship cards, and of course, all of the traditional cards as well, from birthday to Mother's Day. So again, visit us at www.SayItInACard.com. Free shipping for a limited time. One of the best parts of life is when you can admit the truth to yourself about yourself. Cyberspace is a world where one can become something he isn't, but everything he dares to be. I wasn't interested in getting attached to anyone, and I knew I wouldn't take anyone I met online seriously. I had multiple screen names to increase my chances of meeting someone attractive. The majority of the profiles noted HIV negative under status, but I knew better from the work I had done in the HIV community. I knew one out of three black gay men was positive. The messages I found in my inbox validated me in my depression. In some strange way, they reinforced that I was worthy and deserving. My days consisted of waking up and logging on to see how many messages had accrued overnight. Months passed before I got honest with my therapist about what was happening with me. And before I knew it, I heard myself say, I've been having sex with people I meet online. To listen to more of Words Never Spoken in Memoir, visit audible.com. I was involved briefly with a married man who believed he had the courage to leave his wife to be with me and to live his truth. This isn't the typical story of a married man promising to leave his wife for a secret lover. Rather, this is a story in part about a gay man who knew he was gay before he got married but chose to marry a woman because he didn't know how to break free. Rocky and I met on a gay social media site three months after I returned to the East Coast to live and just 11 months after he was married. At the time we met, he was living and working in Dubai as a contractor for the government on a military base while his wife was stationed in Tallahassee, Florida, where they had a home. In one of the first messages he sent me, Rocky shared that he was married, but that he had regrets. He explained that he had come out to his mother and siblings when he was 18 years old. He said that to listen to more of One Thing for Certain, Two Things for Sure, a memoir continued, visit audible.com. Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Now, So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow. So go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And turn on that little bell so that you get a notification every single time that I go live or I upload something new. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Open your mouth here. It's a spicy Thai shrimp stir fry, stir fry. It's a little spicy. It's not bad, but if it's too spicy, you know, if you don't like spice, it's slightly spicy, but if you don't like spice at all, back up. Tanny Georgia says she needed a new fork. She couldn't eat off my fork. What needs? I didn't want you to eat off my fork. No way. I was just being courteous. Because so just as sure as you opened your mouth, I was going to go, ew. You remember how your mom used to do that? Open up. Ew. 
I was gonna hit you with that. Damn, that airplane. This fork was gonna turn into a little prop plane. Amen. Alicia Monique, I'm gonna need you to stop telling all my secrets, okay? Now I just <clears throat> just so happen. Don't look around here, it's a mess in here. I just so happen to make it over to the Trader Joe's. And they had them back. Because you know I'm leaving on Thursday for France, niece. I said, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some of them on my on my flight and for my apartment over there in Paris when I whenever I want to feel connected to the US of A. Amen. I was like, I'm gonna need some of these for the road. So I went in there tonight after I left the gym. I sent key on the picture. Now, if he comes to get them, I don't know. But listen. Um, <clears throat> I'm having a glass of champagne. These are my little stemless champagne flutes. They're over on my Amazon storefront. It's on my Amazon storefront under Home Goods, under the Home Goods link. Amen. Kevin, Kev, I haven't blocked you or muted you or anything. Um, this is a, a, a glass of champagne. What a splash of uh, King Kush. A cha uh, champagne with a splash. This is champagne left over from the from the mimosa brunch, niece. Champagne with a little pineapple, a little bit of cranberry, and a little bit of um, peach blossom vodka. So there's champagne and vodka in here. Okay. Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I said, good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. Hey, Kendra Mitchell. She said, hey, boy, hey. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart. And this is the Facebook and YouTube live versions of So Much to Say. Hey, Cheryl W. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit. Gay shit and everything in between. We about to smoke about this cruise. Okay, niece. We about to smoke about this cruise. Now, niece, listen. Get your pen, your pencil, your notepad, scratch paper. Hey, Sheila G. Let's take a moment for Sheila G. She says she finally caught a live. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, niece. Welcome, niece. Hey, Sheila G. Not Sheila E. Sheila G. It's a couple letters down. For those of you that didn't learn your alphabet. Mm -hmm. So listen. Get your pen and paper. Legra is going to be joining us momentarily. Riri over in Chicago, slow down, niece. You know, you, you, some of the children are not as advanced as you. She's talking about, is Legra going to be joining us? Uh, she's going to be here. Slow down, niece. Slow down, niece. Some of the people are not as advanced. Some of the people are not as advanced. Slow down. Okay. Now, Legra is going to be joining us shortly. Oh, wait a minute. We have a donation for books. Come on, Shauna. 
Shauna said tonight will be the last night for donating books until January 2024. Donating two books. Well, if this is the last night until 2024, why can't we make it four books? Uh -huh. Catch me again in 2024. All right, Shauna. Shauna says she's going to be gifting two books. I think the spirit has just quickened, though, and the spirit says she's going to do four. Because I'm going to have time to ship those books tomorrow because I fly out on Thursday. Amen? Between tomorrow and Wednesday, I will ship those books out. Amen? Michael Burton, do you have any of my books? Do you have the first book? I'm going to gift the first book. Do you have the first book, Michael Burton? Rita, you should have all four books. She stopped buying all those Vince and they had the cigarettes. She could buy a lot of stuff. Like this cruise. Uh, uh, Rita, if you're not on this cruise, I'm blocking you. Michael Burton, please email me at my website. You know the website, Michael Burton? It's www.craigtherightofsteward.com. And Dan Danielle Wilson. Do you have the first book, Danielle Wilson? Yes, Gail, my second book is on Audible. The first, the second, and the fourth. The third one is not because it's it's a, it's a book of quotes. I figured you could, you know, it wouldn't make sense to to record those. Danielle Wilson, are you okay? Danielle Wilson and Michael Burton, please email me at craigtherightofsteward.com. Now, niece, if you don't email me tonight, so I can ship it out tomorrow, you may not get it till December. And come December, I may not remember. Ask Tracy. But she didn't do what she was supposed to do. Okay, my girl Shauna says it's going to be four books. So we have two more. Are there two more people who don't? Gail, Gail G. Gail G, not E, Gail G. Are you still in here? I'll gift you a book as well. Do you read, niece? Do you read? If you're not a reader, don't reach for this book. And Boss Lady Key. That's the, that's those are the four books. Okay, Gail and Boss Lady Key. Okay, email me at craigtherightofsteward.com. Email me at craigtherightofsteward.com, and I'm gonna hit, go ahead and gift the books. I will ship those out tomorrow, and that is contingent on you emailing me tonight. Please and thank you. Okay. If you do not email tonight. By the time I wake up tomorrow morning, you would have forfeited your book. Amen? Okay, I see Legra has just joined the live. Now, again, we're going to be talking about our Virgin Cruise. It's going to be on the vo Virgin Voyage. We're going to be leaving from Miami. Everybody know where Miami is, right? We're going to be leaving from Florida. So it will be necessary if you do not live in Florida, in particular, Miami, you're going to need to get to Miami. Now, we're talking about August of 2024, not Miami, Ohio. Not Miami, Ohio, but Miami, Florida, where they didn't pull all of the Black History books out of the mm -hmm. So we're going to be leaving out of Miami. Now listen, if there's one thing I know, I know travel. And Legra has put together a beautiful deal. Now, let me explain something to, to those of you that don't leave the five miles circumference of your home. I don't know, AJ, if the Chinese bus goes to Miami, but my guess is that they will. But you're probably going to need to leave two weeks before we need to be in Miami if you're going to be taking the Chinese bus. Now, for those of you that don't do any traveling, you only go into, into your neighborhood, you don't leave that five mile radius. Don't get in here talking about the prices if you don't go nowhere but to your local bookstore and to your local uh, shop, right? 
and Piggly Wiggly. Don't be in here talking about what you don't know. Okay? Also, before I bring Legra in here, we are going on this cruise in August. Now, whether or not you're going to let this opportunity pass you by, because you're going to hem and haw. My mother loves to say hem and haw. Because you're going to hem and haw, don't talk yourself out of this. I need you to hear me. Don't talk yourself out of this. You ain't been on no vacation. Or you ain't been in a, on a vacation in a very long time. Okay? They work you down to the job. You, don't, you make all these excuses and you don't do nothing but get your little hair done and your little nails done. It's time for you to take a trip, okay? You get one life. Now, you do not have to pay this trip off until I think, I think like we said, because we had a call earlier, I think you have to pay it off 90 days before. So if the trip is in August, I think that's like April, May, June, or is it in May? May, June, July. It's like she'll tell you when she come on here, okay? So you do not have to pay it in full. So I know some of y'all gonna get y'all sociable, sociable security check. Sociable security. Rita, you don't work no damn way. So you just tell those people at that school that you're gonna be late, that you're gonna be coming in uh, five days later, okay? That's right, Leslie. This is the cruise of all cruises. Some of y'all have met each other at some of the events that I've done. You can be roommates. Okay? You can be roommates. You're going to get your taxes. And uh, some of y'all can get them in January because some of y'all can go down to the H&R block and get your taxes. Some of y'all getting that child support check. Some of y'all know y'all spending it on yourselves anyway. So just put a couple, couple twenty dollars aside. Hmm. So before you get to typing down here with a bunch of questions, listen put your listening ears on. Put your listening ears on, needs, before you get to asking questions. Because I guarantee you, we're going to answer your question. Huh? All right. So, listen. I'm going to bring Legra in here. I'm going to let her carry on because I'm going to be paying attention to your questions. And then I'm going to relay the questions to her. So, you don't, you, you ain't got to keep typing it more than one time. I'm going to make sure that she hears you. Amen. Hey, Lagra. Did you get them all did you get them all the way together? <laughs> I, I know my people. They black like me. <laughs> they they black like me. I, I know my people. Oh goodness. I said, goodness gracious, he got them all the way together, don't he? Because I, I know my people. Child. I know my people. And before well, Craig, you start, you look like, let me just say this. Before you say this, before you start, like, I want to see Riri from Chicago there on the cruise. I want to see Mantra. I want to see Big Mike. I want to see Cheryl W. Tanny Joy. I don't give a damn. If you live in Mexico. You better be in on this cruise. Justin C. Kevy Kev. Mm -hmm. I need to see uh, Powerful. Marie. Tiffany Smith Bell. Christy Burt Williams. I know my people. Um, <laughs> Do Do Donna. Donna. Aja. Mimi. Alicia Monique. <sighs> Stacy Michelle. Um, who else? Been? Oh, uh, Wayne. Wayne. Um, is it Wayne Mills? That's his last name. Isn't it? You got me in tears. Okay, I think it's Wayne Mills. Rita, I don't know because you you prioritize you prioritize your cigarettes. So I don't know if you're gonna come or not. You've been to spend all your little oh. fiduciary income. 
<laughs> you killing me. B, I want to see you too. Donnell Holt, I need to see you there, especially with that doctor in front of your name. Dr. Alicia. Um, Maya. I want to see Maya. All right, so, Legra, we you've put together some dates and just go ahead and just do your thing. Okay, hold on one second here. Well, first of all, forgive me. I'm sitting in my bed. Craig, I have had a hard time getting out of my bed today. Okay, so so the reason Craig why will, Legra has Craig had a very hard out. time. Craig, me out. Madison's birthday dinner slash party was yesterday. So the dinner was at a was at a restaurant. And then we did an after party. Legra hosted an after party at her beautiful home. And it was last night. Now I left at a decent time. Uh, what time did you leave? Um <laughs> I don't know. It was too late. I, I want to say I left about midnight. Okay. And I want to say Madison and them left the last little crew left probably close to two or a little after two. They left at 2.30. See, that's when you overstay your welcome. Hmm? So that lady couldn't get up out the bed today. Oh, my goodness. I was exhausted. Well, I, you know, I had to get up on my, my floors, clean my bathrooms, all that stuff. Did all that. Because you had all them spirits and germs in there. <laughs> Bleached everything down. Oh, I understand. And crawled back in my bed. And I have been in and out of sleep all day. But it, I had just come back from Mexico, so it was a long week. Right. A you came back break. early. Yeah, I came back early for Madison's party and and all of that. So I, I'm I'm a little bit beyond tired. I'm actually going to bed. I'm only up for this. Right, and then I'm right. going to bed. I'll start fresh tomorrow. Right, right, right. No, I get it. I'll start fresh tomorrow. But first of all, thank you, Craig, for allowing me to do this for you because I know you could have picked anyone. But thank you for doing this. Um, yeah. with, well, I worked with you. You know what I mean? When yeah. we did the Supreme Court that first time. And they know from watching me that I, I don't, I, I take it very seriously, especially when yes. their money. You know, I'm going to hook you up. You know, I'm going to hook you up. It's going to yeah. be nice. When their money is involved, like, because I don't need no backlash. I don't need nothing. You know, so I, I and so what happened was I saw it on your Instagram and you were like, hey, I'm, I'm trying to work with other influencers. And, and they've been asking me for a long time to do like an excursion. Yeah. And just so you know, I was thinking about doing, renting like a cabin or not, not a cabin, cause it's too many, but I was gonna do like a few cabins where I would hire yeah. Chef Jack, which is a friend of mine. She would do all of the food mm -hmm. and then maybe do like a cooking, and like some of the activities that we would do, maybe do like a cooking class for those who wanted to sign up for that. And then we would do like a financial yeah. wellness or workshop for people who are trying to clean up their credit or looking for investment tips. I was going to bring some money in to do that. Mm -hmm. And then we would just do like game night and just do a bunch of different things. Right. And I just, I don't know. I, it, I was just never moved to do it. And they've been asking me for a while. We need to do another, um, you know, get together. And I just didn't want to do it. Right. But then when I saw that, I said, you know what, this is perfect. Because I've been wanting to go on this Virgin yeah. cruise, this Virgin, Virgin. Um, I love on. Virgin. I've been several times. Yeah. I've been mean, several times. Um, as a matter of fact, I was supposed to go on. Well, I went on the one that you guys are going on to the Dominican Republic, but a storm came. And so, of course, you know, they're always very ahead of ahead of the weather. So they had tracked us a whole different direction and we ended up going into Mexico. So I, I, our uh, cruise was altered a little bit um, right. due to the weather, due to the weather, but we are going to on Virgin voyages. One reason why I love Virgin voyages. If any of you are cruisers, I hate that bill at the end. You know how the cruises bill. are. Yeah. That bill at the end. You pay whatever, you know, to get on the ship. And then there's that bill that kind of lingers over you at the end. One thing I love about Virgin, let's first, let's say it's no children. It's all adults. Let's start with that. Right. You don't even think about bringing your kids because they're right. not allowed. 18 and over. It's an adult only cruise. There's no buffets. You don't have to worry about the kids sticking their finger in the chocolate fountain. There's no buffets. They're all specialty restaurants. Um, gratuity is included. You don't have that gratuity on your bill at the end. All of that is already included in the cost of their prices. And it is pretty much, if there's anything that can be all-inclusive, it's pretty all-inclusive. 
Right. Okay. And Virgin always is running some sort of a special. They're running a special uh, right now um, that they're even giving you a bar tab. So you know how you have to go on a cruise and you, you got to get that little bubbly package and all that stuff mm -hmm. to get drinks. They're giving you a $300 bar tab for every cabin. Okay. And what I also love too is their drinks are not overly priced. Yes, so I remember you told me that. It goes a long way. So if you have a roommate, that's a hundred and fifty dollars each person, each. And then they also have what they're um, called sailor loot. They're also giving you an additional hundred dollars sailor loot, and that's for you to use for anything. The bar tab is only for the bar, but the sailor loot is um, you go to the spa. You want to use it on an excursion. You you want they have shopping. I always go to the Mac store because for some reason I always forget my lipstick, my lip gloss, or something. Mm -hmm. You know they have different shops and or in purses. They, I think they even have Victoria's Secret. I think had a uh, okay a store on there. So I go get some little sprays and smell good and stuff. You can use it for anything. That's and the also, loot. Yes, that's the sailor loot. Sailor and loot. they're also if you book by October 31st, if you book listen, y'all, October 31st, write this down. Write it down. If on you your pad, on your October scratch paper. 31st. Yes. If you, if you book by October 31st, go ahead, Legra. They're gonna give you an additional, an additional either $50. That's if you book an interior cabin. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, don't know grown folks need to be in no interior cabin. That's a, it's a closet. There's no windows because it's on the inside, the interior of the ship. It's not on the outer side of the ship where you have windows. So there's no windows. There's no balcony. There's nothing to me. It feels like a closet. I don't like it, but they'll give you an additional $50. If you book one of the balconies, they'll give you an additional $100. And if you book a suite, they'll give you an additional $200. So for the cost of the cruise, they just gave you $300, $100. And again, we starting at the balcony. We're not even going to talk about the $50 interior. They're giving you an additional $100. That's $500. And that's Plus, split between you and your roommate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Per cabin. Per, per cabin. cabin. And now, in addition... To that, there's no gratuities on the end. So they pretty much have wiped out that bill that you get on the end. Can I just say this real quick? Yes. If you guys have ever been on a cruise, those of you that have been on a cruise, put your hand up. Mm -hmm. But if you've ever been on a cruise, at the end of your vacation, you have to go check out. And they always try to get you to, it's all this gratuity for everything that you've done. Like every time you've gone to dinner, you know, whatever. They have this bill at the end where they try to basically put together like all of your gratuity. Well, with Virgin, excuse me, with Virgin, there is no gratuity. So the price that we're going to give you includes everything. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. And, you know, when uh, we just come back off of Virgin, I had filet mignon for dinner every day at the wake it's called the steakhouse now normally when you go on a lot of these other cruise lines they have a menu that's included then they have that upgraded menu you pay extra for included it's included included, included. and that's one reason why i absolutely love virgin and then on top of that they're not 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 being too risque but their entertainment is a more adult focus because you don't yes. have any kids yes so i love it i absolutely Love it. Uh -huh. And another thing about Virgin is they're very LGBT friendly as well, as well. A lot of the staff, everyone, you know, they have a very good, diverse, um, it's a lot younger crowd. You got some younger, you got some older, it's more diverse where sometimes you get on the cruise ships, it seemed really kitty, or then you get on a couple of the other cruise lines. It seemed like it's, you know, it's all senior citizens Yeah, but, and, and they ships are sexy. They're brand new ships. That's a whole nother thing. The Valiant Lady, which is the one we're getting on, um, just started sailing a year ago. A year ago. So the rooms are, I mean, it has. It still has the new car smell on it. You got all the bells and the whistles. It's, sec it's a sexy ship. That's all I can say. It's mm -hmm. a very sexy ship. Anyway, we are going to the Dominican Republic. We're going to be sailing into the Dominican Republic, into Puerto Plata. The Dominican Republic. We're also going to be going into Bimini. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's nothing in Bimini. But Virgin Voyages owns a Virgin Voyages Beach Club. It's the biggest thing on the whole island. Beautiful. All the bells and whistles, everything. What I also love about it, that that bar tab, that sailor loot, 
you can use it at the beach club in Bimini. So you still don't when have you to get off the boat, niece. When you get off the boat. It's like they thought of everything. It's yes. like they thought of everything. Now, okay, so now don't go run out and book your cruise. We have a special link. We have a special link. That's what ties you to us. That's what also gets you that extra $50, $100, or $200 little extra thing if you if you um, lock your cruise in before August 31st. But let me give you a couple of details. August That's 31st or October? I mean, I'm sorry, October 31st. If you October lock it in by October 31st. Now, the cruise is August 16th through the 21st. Now, when you book your cruise, I highly, highly highly, highly recommend that you also get Virgin Voyages travel insurance. Okay. But the great thing about their travel insurance is you can get it anytime before you make final payment. That's right. So you don't have to get the, you know, put your deposit down and then be worried about coming up with another hundred dollars or $200, whatever the cost is, because it's going to depend on which cabin you select. You don't have to worry about coming up with that immediately. You have all the way up until May 15th, which is our final payment for the cruise. Okay. Another great thing about it. If once you book it through our link, you can make payments any kind of way you want to. You're not on a set schedule as long as you have it paid off by May 15th. So if you want to get your deposit to lock in your price to also get it by October 31st, so you can make sure you get that extra 50, 100 or $200, you can then come in when you get your income tax check, yes. put, it, put it and pay it off. If you want to put a little bit of something down every week when you get paid, it doesn't matter. You can pay it off any kind of way you want to. That's another great thing that I like about it. As long as it's paid in full by August 15th, August, I mean, I'm sorry. I keep saying August. Got all my dates wrong. May 15th. It has to be 90 days before. Okay, let me say this because I know my kids and yes. I know some of my kids. I know some of my kids on the yes. short bus. So let, let me let me let yes. me slow down for the kids that's on the short Recap. bus that's over, here, that's over here in the GED section. Recap it. Okay, so we're we're cruising from August yes. 16th through the 21st. That yes. is not hurricane season. Hurricane no, season is, is in September. Okay, so we're cruising August 16th. Write this down. Get your scratch paper. August 16th through August 21st. That's when we're cruising. If you make your deposit by October 31st, you can lock in the rate right now. Can you tell them right now what the rate is for the... Um... Well, hell, you would ask me that. <laughs> you we told me earlier, but I don't remember exactly. No, I just had it. I'll tell you in a minute. Go ahead. Okay. So, well, the, well, if I remember, the interiors are starting at fifteen hundred for the cabin. So you and your roommate would split that in half. So that's the, seven fifty. Yes, the balcony was starting at twenty one hundred. That's what we said. Correct. It was starting at twenty one hundred for the cabin. So that's a thousand dollars a piece, a thousand and fifty dollars a piece. You guys can pay that any kind of way you want to. They even have financing. I can't remember which one it is. Uplift one of the, one of those yeah. that you, if you want to even do it with with financing, you can do it that way. So it's completely up to you. Go ahead and finish right. recap. Okay, so right. So just to recap that part, powerful ass. How many people, how many beds are in the room? Needs is two. You can't have five people in the room, these. It's two beds in the room. <laughs> now they have triple and quads, but really honestly, that's if you were on a cruise and they had kids. I'm sorry, no grown folks need to be in no triple and a quad. Right. It's okay, the so unless you got a, a nice suite. Right. And the suites aren't cheap. Do, so she's asking about suites. Did you happen to have that on hand? The price I don't have it, but I will, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. And they have, they have multiple levels of suites, but I can exactly. tell you the starting price is starting at. Okay. So again, these prices that we're giving you is for two people. So again, this is not until August, y'all. We don't, you don't have to have it paid off until May, you said May 15th, something like that. Mm -hmm. That's for the cruise. Right. You spend this kind of money all day long, all the time. So if you got $10 next week, $50 the week after that, you get your taxes in February, March, go ahead and put $500 down on it or whatever, right? Yes. This is doable. Don't yes. talk yourself out of this. There are plenty of people in the comments right now saying, hey, who's who going to be my roommate? Oh, I need a roommate. 
many of you came to the to the live show a couple of weeks ago. Some of you already connected, already have friends. Don't talk yourself out of this, okay? Okay, go ahead, Legra. Okay, I see um, somebody had a really quick question, which is a good question. If I have okay. a single cabin, then the whole $300 bar tab is yours. It's for the cabin. That means you have nobody to split it with. So you'll get right. the $300, you'll get the $100. And if you got a suite, you'll get $200. If you got a balcony, you'll get $100. It's for the cabin. So no, you don't get half of that just because you're single. You get the entire thing. Right. And you yes, to answer Yolanda's question, yes, that is correct. So if you do that, that particular um, cabin is $2,100. It's two beds. And each each um, balcony has a hammock. We didn't oh, say that. I'm sleeping Lever, every day. Lever's ass <laughs> fell asleep on, on, the, on, the, on the ocean. Every night. Every night. Somehow I sit in it. I, first of all, I didn't eat. And I probably had a steak, a little filet mignon over at the wake, which is the steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Come back to my cabin. And they have all kind of events and stuff going on all the time. And I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to sit and chill a minute before I go, you know, back out of the room. Go sit in a hammock. I wake up. It's pitch black. The, the boat dark. They done turned the lights off. Legra done fell asleep and sitting in the damn hammock <laughs> almost every night. Because you get a little, you get a little slight rock. Oh, let me say this also. And I still, and I still have to go into our second part, Craig. Mm -hmm. I'm a person that hate cruises. You know that. But you love this. Yeah. I hate cruises, y'all. I go because I have to, because I'm working. But right. I hate cruises. I love Virgin Voyages. Right. And I'm and I'm saying this is all honesty. No, One you told me that the other week. No, I know you're I telling me. I hate cruises. I, I don't like I don't like all the children running around, and maybe that's just because I don't got a little older. But I, I I didn't like it when I was younger. But one of the biggest thing I hated about ships is I always felt like I was doing this. Yeah, yeah, they're moving. I always felt that because their ships are new. Don't ask me what technology they using or whatever. You feel like you in a boutique hotel. Right. <laughs> every once in a while. And I mean, very every once in a while, especially at night when I'm laying in the bed, every once in a while, I feel a little slight motion. But right. I don't have that feeling of yeah. that. I feel like I'm shimmying the whole time I'm on the ship. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get off off the boat. I don't have that feeling. And I, right. I forgot they'd explain something with the dynamics of the ship and stuff but it's because their ships are new, are new. yeah and new and whatever technology and all this stuff they use i don't have that shimmy that shimmy feeling i right. love virgin voyages i'm gonna say that right. okay so yannick said do i necessarily have to have a roommate no she just said no. that you can actually if you want to pay the two thousand dollars or whatever room style you get you pay it yourself the um three hundred dollar bar tab is yours to yourself mm -hmm. as well as the What's it called? Sailor's loot. Sailor loot. <coughs> the sailor's you'll loot. Get a, you'll get an additional sailor loot if you book it before October thirty first. Right. right. They're, they're addressing um, uh, hurricane season. Let me tell you guys something. Hurricane season officially starts in June. Mm -hmm. If they say the season, hurricane season runs all the way from June all the way into the end of October. Mm -hmm. Period. However, our region of the world usually do not see hurricanes until September, late September, October. So mm -hmm. officially, is it hurricane season? Yes, because mm -hmm. hurricane season starts in June, mm -hmm. te technically. So if you look it up, yes, it is hurricane season. Right. Okay. But we don't typically see hurricanes in, in August in our neck of the woods. Right. Like, and like I said, we had just a storm. It wasn't a hurricane, just a regular storm. And they rerouted the whole ship. We never even knew. They came mm -hmm. over the loud system and told us that we were not going to be able to go into Puerto Plata. There was a storm that was closer to the Dominican Republic. They were routing us a whole different direction. Okay. So we mm -hmm. ended up going to Costa Maya, Mexico. So we still are going to dock somewhere, but they're going to reroute the ship. So it's not like the days of old. You ain't got to be worried about being caught out on sea or nothing. They on top of that weather. Mm -hmm. They on top of it. Okay. They're very uh, much. On top of if it. sharing a room, do you both people have to pay at the same time? My guess is no, but you no, no. Okay. You just make payments on it. If you're sharing a room, if you're sharing a room, you are going to have both of your names on that reservation. Okay. So this is just this is just travel one on one, travel one on one. Yeah. 
be careful who you pick as your roommate. If you know somebody don't pay their bills on time right. and you paying, you making payments and your roommate is not going to make payments, yes, that's going to affect you because you are sharing a room. That's whether you're on a cruise, that's whether you're at the hotel or y'all y'all taking a girl's trip or whatever. Just be selective. Know who your roommate is. OK, right. because yes, it will affect you, but you can make some pay you can make payments. You The roommate can make payments, however it is that you want to do it. OK, so, but whoever the lead person is, that's who the the uh, reservation, the reservations name will be in because they got to put down the emails and all that good stuff. So um, the deposit will depend on which cabin you select. OK, so there's different ranges of deposits, but you can go through once we give you guys the link. You can actually go through and look at the different um, cabins so you can see what's available. You can see what the deposit is, all of that stuff before you before you book. Now, that's part one. We're going on a cruise. OK. And the reason why we have it split into two, because we want you to get all those perks. If I signed a contract, which is what I usually do when we do group trips, I sign a contract and I make everyone's payment as one lump payment because I keep track of all of that, then they don't give you all those perks because it's a different kind of contract. So right. we want to keep, we want to make sure you got that $300 bar tab, that $100 and that extra $100 if you guys book it before October 31st. So we decided right. to do it this way or else you would get, I think I'd give you like an extra $50 something for the entire mm -hmm. group. No, we want that $300 bar tab. We want you right. to be able to have all the alcohol. So we split this package into two parts. You're going to book through the link. And then we have what we're going to call the Craig experience. Okay. We're going to give you the, <laughs> the Craig experience. The cruise starts August 16th, but guess what? We start in August 15th. So we need you to be in Miami. In Miami on the 15th, the day before. And I'm going to tell you right now, never, even if you, even if you decide not to come roll and party with us, and I'm going to tell you this for any cruise, do not fly in for your cruise on the day that you're supposed to leave. Right. Y'all. Have y'all seen how many uh, airline flights have been canceled? Do you yeah. see how many um, flights are delayed? Yeah. All yeah. of those things. I can't tell you how many people all the time when my clients call me upset because they have missed their flight. They've missed their cruise or the connecting flight, especially if you got a layover. You may have left and your flight left on time, but maybe that connect connecting flight maybe be delayed or mechanical problems and they didn't take off on time. Anything. Because if you miss your cruise... You just That's miss the cruise and you will lose your money. Never fly in for a cruise on the day that you're supposed to depart. You always want to be there early. Mm -hmm. So we're coming in a day before, okay? We're going to be staying at an intercontinental hotel, okay? We're going to also have a welcome dinner. This is a whole package, you guys. Your hotel for the night, a welcome dinner. You heard them. OK, we're all coming together before the cruise because the, the day of the cruise is always a little chaotic. Yeah. You got to find your room. You got to get to the you, they got to get your luggage to the room and everybody's scattered all over the ship. We want you all to come together before we get on the cruise. OK, so August 15th, we're going to come in the Intercontinental Hotel. So this package will include your night stay. You have the option to do. Uh, a single, you can do a double. And if you already live in Miami and you don't want to get a hotel, you can also have it without the hotel, but still have the rest of the package. Okay. Yes. So August 15th, Intercontinental. You also will get a custom gift box from Craig. Okay. Look at his face. <laughs> You're going to have a custom gift box. When you sign up for this portion of the package, we also will get your mailing address. So please make sure you send a complete mailing address. If you have an apartment or something like that, please make sure you have the apartment number. Just make sure you put in the complete mailing address. And we are going to let you know before we send the boxes out, which is going to be closer to cruise time, because it's going to be some items in there for you to bring on the cruise. OK, like your T-shirts and all that kind of stuff is going to be in the box. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure to give you an opportunity that if you moved to make sure that you confirm your mailing address. OK, so you're going to get that. And we're also going to have a private cocktail reception on the cruise that it also includes open bar. OK, That's right. so not you only do you have the bar tab, we're going to have a private cocktail reception on the cruise ship. 
Okay. So we'll have some hors d'oeuvres and, um, and a bar for that. So please, 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 please. Again, there's also an option for you to purchase travel insurance for that portion of the package, but that'll all be detailed out in there. Um, I always like to get what I call a cancel for any reason policy because we want to make sure that you cover your, your travel. Okay. Yes, that is Legra. Legra is tired. Okay. Craig got me, Craig got me up. Okay. Because I know right. most of my people, they, they're here at nine. So, I mean, we could have done it earlier, but I didn't want anybody to be like, well, wait, I didn't see it. And I had questions. Right. So, but right. um, the deposit amount, somebody asked, two people have asked that I've seen yes. so far. What's the deposit by October 31st to get that extra amount? Okay. It depends on which the cabin you select. Now you can on go on Virgin Voyages right now and put in our dates, August 16th through the 21st. It is called the Dominican Days. That's the name of the cruise. The Dominican Days, August 16th through the 21st. You can see the prices. You can see. But if you book it, you're not with us. You have to wait till Craig gives you the link. Because Craig has a special link that ties his all his group together. OK, but if you just want to see prices and all that kind of stuff, you can go take a look. But don't book it until you get Craig's link. All right. Did that you hear that, Craig? Am I frozen or are you frozen? I don't know. I see it every now and then. But I can still hear you, though. They can still hear you. Um, OK, I didn't know if I was frozen or if you were frozen. You have we have a very special link. So let me give you a really, really quick recap. The whole thing. OK, it's two parts. Now, when Craig gives you the link tomorrow, it's going to take you to one page. It's going to explain everything that I just said. So if you missed a part of it, you can read it on the page. It explains everything. You're going to book your cruise directly with Virgin. We have the special link that's going to be on Craig's page. Okay. We'll have the special link where you can go in and book your cabin. Can you book after October 31st? Of course you can. You can book at any time. You just will not get that extra $50, $100, or $200. Okay? And, now, because and you're booking my, directly with Virgin, huh? Well, I was just going to say, and the prices could change. So let's just say like that. Yeah, one prices could change. Right. It's, it's just like a plane ticket. Yes. It's just like a plane ticket, niece. And so, your offer could change. Right. The offer could change. They can take away the bar loot. They could take away, I mean, the, the bar cab. They could take away the, the loot. You, When you're booking it, you're booking at whatever offer they're going to have at that moment. Right now, you get $300 bar tab. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's an extra $300 and $100 expenses. that You might as well take that off your bill. Yeah. You might as well take that off your, your, your cruise. They're giving that to you. Right. They're giving that. They're giving that to you. Okay. Yes, the hotel so, would be booked already for you. Yes. So you the hotel will be booked that. already. Right. Lever is going to take care of the hotel again. It's going to be the intercontinental. We would check in the day before we set sail. But again, I just want to reiterate this. I just want to reiterate this because I noticed some people lurking. I noticed <laughs> there are some people lurking. If you think that you're going to go and book your own hotel, and come over there and hobnob with us. And if you think that you're gonna go ahead and book directly with Virgin and think you're gonna come into our all-inclusive, uh, bottomless drinking and dinner excursion, you cannot. You're not gonna be able to do that. So I'm just letting you know, do not book directly with the hotel and do not book directly with Virgin Cruise. I will provide the link. We were gonna have the link tonight, but it's still processing. So, yeah. And I didn't want to postpone the, the live because I already had it scheduled. So I wanted to just give you the information, but I will post the link. And every time Tomorrow. I go live moving forward, I'm going to share the link so that you'll know where to book um, through the special link. But again, do not try to circumnavigate and then get stuck. All right. Yes. Yeah. Now, you know, I've had people try to do it, Craig, but, you know, I'm a I'm a professional. Yes. <laughs> I'm a professional, Craig. You know, I'm I'm used to them. We always get those everywhere we go. If you right. book outside of us, okay, look, there's so many people staying at that hotel. Enjoy yourself, but you will not be able to come to our welcome dinner. No. If you book outside of us, uh, Virgin, you will not be able to come 
to the uh, cocktail. You will not get a custom, a custom gift box, okay? These are all the things that we've got included inside of a package. So if you don't go through Craig's link and you don't book with us, enjoy the cruise. Right, but, but you will not, not with be us. with us. <laughs> <laughs> you're not um, with us. Mantra, so okay. just to answer your question real quick, no, all of our rooms on the ship are not going to be close together. Some people might be near each other, but there's no way to do that. Because some people are going to have different kinds no. of rooms. Even though we're yes. suggesting that you do a, um, a, a room with a balcony, some people may not opt for that. So it yes. really just depends on where you book, okay? Which yes. type of room. I usually, like a, I usually do the, it's called the sea terrace. That's the level with the... Um, that's the level with the, the balconies. It's called the sea terrace. Some people book what's called a central sea terrace that puts you dead kind of center in the ship. In mm -hmm. the ship, some people um, do, it's called the extra large um, terrace. Those are on the back of the ship. Yeah. Some people like to be towards the back of the ship. So we really can't tell you where you're going to be. Right. Where you're going to be. But the great thing, too, I like about Virgin, also that if you um, you have your little circle, you can connect through their app. Now, Virgin uh -huh. does everything that when I tell you, there's that they're paperless. They do everything. Yeah. Everything electronically. You're gonna download the Virgin app. Uh -huh. Once you book, download the Virgin app. You'll be able to see everything inside of the app. You can start to connect uh, when you get on the ship. You can connect with other people in your circle, so you can make dinner reservations mm -hmm. and include the other people in your circle. They can see it come up on their app on the phone. They're ri they they they. When I tell you they have stepped up, yeah. it's a whole different. It's a whole different kind of experience. Okay, it's a whole. And different I'm just experience. trying to think again of things. for. This Go ahead. For those of you that live in Miami, um, is the 804 Miami? Somebody said 804 I'm in the 804. Virginia. 804 is Virginia. Okay, because I was like, who's the 804? Okay, but if you live in Miami, you have the option to still do the hotel or not do the hotel. We do understand that some people may not want to stay at the hotel. Stay at the hotel. But you'll okay? still be able but to it will, it will include the package. Yes, yeah, so they can still come to the dinner. All that kind of all that kind of stuff. Now, I have not finalized the dinner, and a lot of times I don't do the final final details until I know what my head count is, because mm -hmm. then I know what kind of an experience I can create once I know how many people that I'm dealing with. Right. Okay. Um, I, I'm floating through here looking for questions. Yes. But there's two parts. All of it will be detailed. Now, everything that I just explained is going to be in there in that page. OK, right. another thing to also think about with Virgin Voyages. One, you need a passport. Yes. Okay? So you that, need a I'm passport. Glad you brought that up. Yes. You need a passport. Many of the cruise lines are starting to move towards people getting passports. Y'all see those videos when people get left in destinations because they done missed. They done got off the ship and missed. Guess what happens when you get stuck in a country like that? You have no passport, no documentation, no nothing. You got to go to find the embassy uh -huh. to, get, to get a passport, a temporary passport to be able to get out of the country. You can't buy a plane ticket. You can't do anything. OK, a lot of the cruise lines are moving towards everyone starting to have passports. So Virgin Voyages does require a passport for you to right. be able to travel with them. Someone said, what about excursions? Guess what? You got a hundred dollar loot that you can buy an excursion with. They taking care of everything for you. Uh -huh. Okay. They're taking care of everything for you. They're even giving you a hundred dollar loot. And if, again, if you book by October 31st, you can get an extra 50 or a hundred or $200 loot. You can use that for your excursion and destination. Again, you can use it on the ship. If you want to go to the spa, uh, do you want to go shopping? They got purses, clothes, you know, mm -hmm. Stuff, all that stuff that you can go shopping on the ship. Yes, anyone is welcome to come. They don't have to watch my live. Um, once we provide the link, anybody anyone can go over eighteen, yes. right? Over right. eighteen. Okay. It's grown. It's gonna be grown folks fun. Okay, so here's a question right here. I was gonna answer this. Go ahead. So the Intercontinental is like you said, it's like five minutes from. It's about five minutes. Honestly, you're gonna call an Uber. It's it's right. it'll be cheaper than me trying to get transportation for us. Call an Uber. About two, three of y'all get in the same Uber with your luggage, going on about your business. It's about five minutes from the cruise port. Right, because if we book a van, that's gonna take the price up. 
Yeah, it's it's, so, it was, it's too expensive when Uber is so cheap, and right. you're literally, you're right at the cruise port. You're not you're not far from the cruise ship. Right. So we've thought about all of that. So again, the intercontinental is going to be close to where we're gonna where the ship is going to be docked, where we're gonna yes. leave from. Yes. Um, someone said, is the um, hotel stay uh, just for the day before? For us, yes. However, if you want to stay an additional day, just shoot me an email once you book. Shoot me an email. I'll contact the hotel to get an additional stay added on to you because they always typically give us a, um, a special rate. Right. We and yes, the hotel days. night is just that first night. So yes. you would check into the hotel on the 15th of August. That evening, we're going to have our little hoopla and then we'll be all headed over to the cruise ship on the 16th the next day and again do not fly in on the morning of the 16th don't right. don't risk don't risk missing your vacation missing your trip because a flight or something was delayed uh, okay. shay burton said how do you book an uber and i'm not being i'm not being funny is there someone that can help shay well, it'll be it'll be very easy. It'll be very easy. We'll we'll help you when it's when it's time. We'll help right. you when it's time. And we'll all be together. So we'll be able to link up and and you know, you guys can share an Uber, um, you know, Cash App somebody or whatever, you know, split the cost of the Uber. It'll be real cheap. Right. And uh, again, just a reminder, if you don't have a passport already, go ahead and apply for your passport. Yes. Um, check your passport expiration date. Because you cannot typically travel um, if your passport expires within six months of your yes. travel date. Yes. So make sure you check your passport. Yes. Hey, Brian Jones. Brian Jones said, Legra knows I'm coming in on the 14th. He comes two days yeah, before. Coming. Yeah, Brian always come in. Well, first of all, Brian got to come in way early because Brian got to make sure he get a couple glasses of wine and everything. And he be ready. By the time y'all get there, Brian is already ready. <laughs> Brian already ready by the time he gets there. Everyone else gets there. Okay. Um, Is there any, somebody, other, any other questions for me, Craig? I don't see any other questions. Do you guys have any other questions? Again, we're going to have the link tomorrow. Yes. Um, I'm going to provide the link for you tomorrow. Whenever I go live, I'm going to post it, but I'll also tweet it out. I'll post it on my YouTube channel. I'll post it in my Patreon. I'll post it on my Facebook group as well. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that you guys see it. And as soon as you see it, you can start you can start booking, but we're gonna definitely have it for you before the 20, before the 31st. So you can get that extra um, incentive. The deposit, um, Shamika, again, is gonna depend on which type of cabin you choose. So it's just gonna depend on what type of cabin. And then once you make your deposit, you can pay as much as you want until it's paid off. It could be $5, $100, whatever. Yes. Are there suites for yeah, three the people? Deposit, the deposit for the second part of the package, which is the hotel and all of that good stuff, it's only $100. Right. Yeah, it's only $100 for the second portion of the package. All right. Um, is if there I, a suite for three? If I book, can I find a roommate later? Yes. What you would do is with Virgin, what you would do with Virgin is you would book and you would put your name, obviously, as the lead. You come in and just... And, and just make up something or, or just put a, a dummy name in and then you can come back um, later on and update uh, update Virgin with the second name. And that's just a matter of you just calling in and updating the reservation. Is there a suite for three people? They do have, they do have suites, but I'm gonna tell you right now they're sweet. Oh, and I just want, let me pull that up. Suites are um, relatively expensive, not expensive, expensive. For the suites, because their suites are sexy. Okay. Yeah, Vanessa, the cruise would leave from Miami and it would return to Miami. Yes, and it will return you. It's going to return you to Miami. Um, their rock star suites start at thirty eight hundred dollars. They Ooh. mega rock star suites start at seven thousand. So the first one would be nineteen hundred dollars per person if you had two people in that room. Um, yes, do we happen awesome. to know what time we're going to get back to Miami? Do we know that? Already? Well, usually, um, you're usually in like first thing in the morning. So because okay. they have another cruise that'll be leaving out later that day, which they always do. So we'll probably be back in Miami six, seven o'clock in the morning. They usually start exiting the ship about eight, nine, ten o'clock in the morning. 
Okay. So if you're going to get a flight and we'll talk about all of these things, I'm sure Craig is going to do several lives and everything that we'll talk about this, obviously, before we leave. If you were booking a flight so that you can leave back out, I always recommend that you get an afternoon flight. Yeah. Because you got to get time to get off the ship. And I don't like to have to get up that early. I don't, you know, yeah. I, I don't I, I, I try to go have breakfast because, you know, it's the breakfast still open. I go have breakfast the morning of before I leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't want to feel rushed. I don't like to feel rushed. And then, you know, I can take my time getting over to the airport. And then I'm, you know, I'm leaving one, one o'clock, two o'clock, something like that. I think, I believe the last time, the last time to get off the ship, because they're going to give you little time slots to get off the ship. I want to say it's 10, 10 30 that you get off the ship. Right. Because they'll be already cleaning. You'll see them clean. Right. And for those of you that haven't been on the ship, they have to process yeah. everybody off the ship. Yeah. So don't book your flight so early in the morning. You're trying to rush people to get off the, off the ship because that's not going to happen. Yeah. You're so not just try to do something. My suggestion would be to book a flight after 2 p.m. Yeah. That's, us usually, that's usually me. I'm usually like a one o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock is usually when um, I get. Are there cabins flight. for three people? Someone is asking that. Yes, you can have almost any cabin for three, but keep in mind that y'all now y'all talking about bunk beds. Okay, because this is a cruise ship, y'all. This is a cabin. This is not a <laughs> what they talking about, like they talking about bunk beds. I'm sorry, and you know, good. some of y'all knees and shit ain't good. They be climbing up on no bunk bed, bunk bed, right? Climbing up on a bunk bed, all what that they booty, is, <laughs> when all that booty you, and elbow, and all that elbow fat and grease and stuff. When well, you book your cabin, it's a king size bed. Now, what they do, and this is every every cruise ship, it's a king size bed. And then you say, I want to have my bed split into two because it's two people. Because they don't know if it's a couple that's sleeping in the king size bed or if it's two separate people. Right. Then your steward cabin will split your bed into two. So it's more like a twin. And for uh, Virgin, theirs isn't side by side. They're split into an L. So it goes L shape. Their beds go like this. Now, if you have three in the, a room, something going to be up in the air where somebody got to climb up here and get up and sleep in a bunk. It's, it's like a bunk bed style. I'm sorry. I'm too grown to sleep in a bunk bed. At least it's a damn fool. Yes, a passport what? is required. A passport is required because we are leaving from these United States. So a passport yes. is required. A passport is required. A passport is required. Um... Who I'm wants to get their back? I say, who want to get their back blown out in a bunk bed? <laughs> right. Three um, people. Three people. Three people can fit in the cabin, but if you do, if you book for three, they're going to be making sure that you got that bunk bed somewhere in in the room. The way it splits out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you can look at all the rooms on Virgin. You can see the pictures, all that stuff. Now I'm going to tell you again: the Insider, which is the cheap one. Is fifteen hundred dollars for the cabin, seven hundred less than eight hundred dollars per person. It has no windows, no windows. You can't see. You can't see out. You can't no see windows. the ocean. And, and the I'm beautiful a part about taking a cruise is that you see the ocean. It's the ocean. For me, it feels like a closet. That's every cruise ship. That's every cruise ship. So don't book the insider because it's cheap and then get on the ship, talk about you hate your cabin and you don't like your cabin. It's, I'm telling you up front. It's inside. It's on the interior. There are no windows. Okay. Um, do we know how far? What is that? Someone said how many beds in the suite? It depends on which suite you pick. When you look at the description, when you go on their site, it's going to tell you. It's going to tell you. And when all else fails, y'all, YouTube is your best friend. Go hit YouTube and put in Virgin Voyages in the cabin that you want. Believe me, somebody's got videos of it right. um, on YouTube. So you can see it really well instead of just looking at a picture. But again, don't book directly. You're going to use the link that I'm going to provide tomorrow. Yes. We can have the link tomorrow. Um, because you're not going to get all the, the incentives and the perks that we just talked about. How far is the airport from the cruise dock? Do we know? Um, I'm going to say it usually took, let me say, it took me about maybe 20, 25 minutes. It's okay. not that far, about 20, 25 minutes. So again, if you guys coordinate your travel, 
then you can jump in an Uber or something together mm -hmm. and you know, do it that way. Mm -hmm. No, uh, Robert, you don't have to book it before the 31st. That's just to get that extra 50, 100 or $200 incentive. Right. Okay. That's just to get that. Um, after that, you just won't be able to get that. You'll still, you still can get the 300. You still can get the 100. That's if Virgin has not changed it. Right. Okay. Because again, this is like booking a plane ticket. Right. One day it might be two hundred dollars to fly from here to Baltimore. The next day it might be one fifty. The day mm -hmm. after that it might be three hundred. So yes. it just depends. Right now, these are the prices that we're giving you right now. So again, once I have that link tomorrow, as soon as I have the link, I'm gonna just start posting it and putting it out. Yes. All right. Someone ask, is it true about those pineapple rendezvous? What is are that you about? familiar with the pineapple rendezvous, Craig? No. What is that? Well, if they say, and it is true, when you see pineapples on someone's door, those are usually the swingers. They're letting other swingers on the ship know that that's how they roll. Those are usually the swingers. So if you see pineapples, sometimes it's a picture or whatever. Or it's, it's, and it's usually, they, they will usually kind of decorate their door a little bit. Did you see any when you were on there? I have seen them before. Yes, I have. Oh wow! Pineapples. They're they're letting you know up front that they're swingers, so they're they're welcoming uh, auditions, I guess. <laughs> oh wow! Yes, that is true. But that's any cruise ship. That's not just Virgin. That's mm -hmm. any cruise ship. That's how they kind of signal each other and let each other know. So they're saying that the pineapple is upside down. I don't know if it's right side up or upside down. I just try to avoid those doors. <laughs> ah! okay. Brenda said, yes, the ship is down the street from the um, hotel. Yes, very close. Um, All right. Any more questions for me? Now, if you do have questions, my email is info at global travelers llc.com and also when i give craig the link tomorrow you'll be able to click on the link and there's a, a button that says contact the organizer so if you don't remember my email don't worry about it hit contact the organizer it comes directly to my desk okay so i still can answer it so you don't have to worry about trying to remember my my email but again her email is info info at global travel with an s LLC.com. Yes. LLC info at Global Travelers LLC.com. Dot com. Um, but you can yeah, always I'm click on the organizer. I'm gonna grab you can uh, always click on put that, put that in the Okay, list. you're fine. You're fine. All right, two parts. August 16th through the 21st is the cruise. August 15th, we will be at the Intercontinental. You will book directly with Virgin Voyages. Yes, please get their travel insurance. Um, Virgin Voyages um, cancellation policy. You can cancel your cruise within seven days and get a full refund. After seven days, they give you a cruise credit. That's a Virgin Voyage policy that I have nothing to do with. Okay. After seven days, they give you a cruise credit. Um, our policy, listen, I listen closely. Our policy is non-refundable. You will get travel insurance, which you will also have a link. The reason why it is non-refundable, because once I start signing these contracts that locks us in, they lock me in. Okay. The hotel is going to lock me in. The cruise is going to lock me in. Okay. All our other little details that we, we put together into the package. All right. But as in every package that I've ever done, you can attest to this. Help me out, Brian. We ask for you to get travel insurance. We're going to give you a link where you can go pick travel insurance. It's going to be very cheap because our package is, is cheap. It's going to be very cheap. I recommend you get what's called a cancel for any reason policy. It's like having full coverage car insurance versus liability car insurance. Mm -hmm. This covers just about everything. That's why they call it cancel for any reason where this covers certain certain things. Yeah. You can get a cancel for any reason policy within 21 days, within 21 days of you making the deposit. Okay. For Virgin Voyages, their um, uh, travel insurance, you can get any time before a final payment. So you got all the way up till May 15th to get it. But ours for this small part of the package, I would love for you to still cover it. Why? 
people, life happens. Right. You don't know what this is months away. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, let alone six months from now. We have people lose their jobs. We have a, a sickness. We may have a death in the family. You never know. Mm -hmm. and, and this is not just traveling with us. This is anytime you travel, you should always cover your trip with travel insurance. Okay. It's too many what ifs. Um, and again, the cost of the traveler's insurance is going to depend on which cabin you book. But yes. somebody's saying, can we get a ballpark? Well, I mean, it can be, I've seen for, um, it can be a hundred and something, 150, $175. It can be two, $300. Mm -hmm. it, just it just depends, depends on, on what, what, what cabin, what cabin you pick, what price point you're at, all that stuff. Right. Yes. Um, my girl Mimi put Legra's in, uh, email up here. Yes. Global travelers, LLC.com. Yes, that's her email. Thank you for me. We're going to provide the link tomorrow so that you guys can start booking for those. Yes, yes the, hotel. the hotel is included in the pack, that second portion of the package. The cruise is the cruise only. That's Virgin Voyages. Everything else is included um, in the second package. All of this will be explained on Craig's page. So if you missed it, you didn't understand it. You'll be able to read all of it. And then if you still have an additional question, hit that contact the organizer and send me an email and ask me a question and we'll we'll um, get it cleared up for you. They're asking about the um, Craig experience, how much that is. Oh, hold on a second. Let me pull that right back up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The cruise is going to... And y'all got to forgive me. I got 20... I got 20 I got 20 trips in my head. All right. Where the is cruise, the cruise? The cruise is going to the Dominican Republic. Porta Plata, Dominican Republic. Porta Plata, Dominican Republic, and then also Bimini. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, did I lose you, Craig? No, okay, I'm there here. you go. Brian Jones said for Costa Rica, because he went to Costa Rica with us last year, my cancel uh -huh. for any reason policy insurance was $70. Oh, okay. Be prepared. Be prepared. You are leaving the U.S. So again, insurance depends on what, what package and all that stuff that you get. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me run my numbers. Greg, I had to go back and recalculate. Okay. Something. Um, because remember I had given you two hotel options, right? um, and that was, the, that was the cost at the lower hotel. So I had to add an extra 50. Okay. okay. So let and me again, make sure I got this right. Just tuned in, the hotel that we're going to stay in the night before we set sail is going to be the intercontinental. Yeah. At the intercontinental. So the, the double will be $600. Okay. $600 per person and the single would be $700 per person. And that you got, you got And um that is the whole that is the uh hotel that includes the welcome dinner. That includes our cocktail reception on the on the ship. That and that's includes, open bar for you girls that like to drink. Yes, that's open bar outside of your $300 bar tab. That's not going to come off your $300 bar tab, okay? Right. You can use that $300 all the whole other time. It's all going to be your custom gift box. Okay. So that's going to be your hotel room. That's our welcome party. That's our cocktail reception. That's your, cust your custom gift box. All of that is in the package. Okay. And again, all of this will be explained on, on Craig's page. All of this will be explained on Craig's page. And if you have questions after that, hit contact the organizer. And we're not going over this again. We done said this 10 times already. All right. Tonight. So we'll, go over again another night. we'll go over it again another night. But right. if you didn't, watch the replay. And um, all and again, all of it is going to be explained uh, on Craig's page. And then if you have questions after that, you can always contact me. All right? Right. Yes. All right. Um, all right. Thank you, Legra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So then tomorrow, um, once I get the link, whenever you get it, just send it to me. Yep. As soon as it and loads up, it connects. I will send you the link over. Okay. All right. Uh, no, no uh, the custom custom gift box is going to be shipped to you. So you're not going to have to carry that on the, on the plane. 
No, I'm going to, yeah, it'll be shipped to you. That way we don't have to try to get all of that to you down to Miami. Right. We're going to ship it to you. But, um, okay. Uh, somebody said I got five pages. Of notes. Oh, no. I was going to say, you got five pages. Of <laughs> Bye, you guys. Look, all right, Craig, good night, Craig and Maddie wore me out last night. I'm going to be it. <laughs> Listen, and I got to go in here and take a shower. I, I need to situate my situation. Get it situated, honey. Right. All right. Y'all have an amazing <laughs> night. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye. Thanks.